<laughs> I think that's good. We'll capture them behind us. <laughs> so cute. <laughs> Pulling. How to pull a girl home. Uh, now, the amount of times I will have a, a student and he's pulling a girl and he's almost like micromanaging everything that he says, everything that he does. He's like, oh, we're gonna, we're just gonna turn left here. It's okay. Um, oh, we're gonna uh, get in this taxi over here. And he's like, explaining point by point how he's taking this girl home to her and it's almost like he's talk talking to a child and the girl is not a child she's in most cases as long as you're doing the right thing sh and she's aware that this is a date and you're going back to your place in in almost every case she's aware what's up uh, and you explaining blow by blow Oh, we're gonna turn left here. We're gonna go down the steps here. Don't worry. It's okay. And you're like Talking to her like that She will pick up that you're a little bit nervous and you're a little bit inexperienced with taking girls home She might even um, one of the sayings I like to use is um, She will feel what you feel so if you feel a little bit nervous or you feel a little bit um like like something you're doing something naughty by taking her home uh, she will feel that as well um, and if you feel a little bit nervous and you feel a little bit like you're worried that she's going to be scared to go back to your place then in her mind she's in, instantly gonna think firstly he's inexperienced right and that's that's kind of a good way to get yourself rejected by a woman immediately um, not always, but sometimes. A girl will just feel like, oh, this guy's inexperienced, so therefore maybe I shouldn't bother going back because it's, it's going to be awful being back at his place with an experienced guy. The other aspect of it is, if you're super nice and micromanaging and, and blow by blow explaining, oh, we're going to go here, we're going to go there, at you feel like you're doing something n naughty or you're doing something that is bad or you're putting her in danger or she should feel scared to be with you somehow and if you feel that way um maybe in the early stages she didn't feel like there was any danger but as soon as she sees that you are super nervous and super scared she'll start thinking maybe I should be scared maybe he is doing something wrong maybe it is dangerous to go back to his place and she didn't have that thought before but because you were micromanaging talking to her like a child like oh come on it's everything's gonna be okay she will immediately, immediately start thinking wow maybe I am in danger maybe this guy's being super nice because as soon as I get back to his place um, I'm gonna get kidnapped or something and so the more you can be chill and relaxed and just run at home and not micromanage everything as if you're doing something bad or naughty or she's in she should feel like she's in danger then she won't feel the same if this is normal for you then it will become normal for her and obviously I'm assuming that you guys watching this video aren't dodgy dangerous nutcase kidnapping human trafficking guys um, and uh, it's like the um, when you when you live in society and someone's extremely nice to you you tend to feel like they want something from you and it might be bad for you uh, and so if you're pulling a girl back to your place you've had a nice date and then you become super nervous and become overly friendly and want to micromanage everything um, because you're kind of inexperienced with doing it you feel like something's wrong she will feel like something is wrong too and that's when on average you get back to your place and she's 
out the front of your apartment or house and she says, I'm not coming in. Sorry, I can't come in. I decided I can't do this. Sometimes that is because you did that because you were super nervous and you felt like you were doing something wrong and you well you overly micromanaged and explained oh we're just going to go one more stop on the train oh we're just going to get in the taxi and don't worry it's like five ten minutes and while you're in the taxi you're explaining oh it's just the left here it's just the right or you're walking back to your place and you're explaining to her that it's, oh no, we just walk down this street, then we turn left, and then we turn right, and then we're there. It's like, none of that needs to be said unless she asks for it. Um, if she likes you and trusts you, um, if you are a good guy, then she has every reason to trust and like you and want to go back to your place. And so therefore you shouldn't be micromanage, micromanaging the pool and feeling nervous about it. You should be chill. Uh, and if you feel nervous because of your inexperience, stop being nervous. You should feel, stop feeling nervous if you are like a good guy and you've got good intentions. The only time you should feel nervous is if you are some sort of a crazy kidnapping, human trafficking nut job. Okay? And so let's just say tomorrow you're pulling a girl home and you're feeling a little bit nervous. Remember that only a, a psycho should feel nervous. Only a nut job should feel nervous. And chill out. Don't micromanage it. And just take her home because you're not doing anything wrong. And that's what she wants to do. And one of the sayings that I often give to my students is, your job is to help her to sleep with you and date you. Because she's not going to do it on her own. You have to make it happen somehow, some way. And, um, and being nervous and being coming across inexperienced, uh, it's only going to freak her out. Uh, and if you've got good intentions and you're a good guy, you've got no reason to feel nervous or act weird at all. Chill out. Enjoy the process. Take her home. Um, so anyway, that's today's video. That's my take on pulling. It's one aspect of it. Pulling is a very complicated topic, by the way. Um, and I can never cover all of these topics in such detail in a YouTube video. Um, unfortunately, if you want to do some like live coaching, the only way to do it is get some coaching live with myself. I'll see you in the next one.